everyone and welcome to my new series called the Ducks of Anaheim. My name is Jojen and I will be your host forever because this is my channel and this is my video. So if you don't like it you can screw off or whatever. I'm not really sure what I'm saying right here but uh, yeah the purpose of this series is that I will be playing as the Anaheim Ducks with their current lineup. Uh, before every game or so I'm gonna show you guys the lineup that I'm gonna use and yeah, that's about it. So if like Ryan Getzlaff is, is out for a game in the real NHL, he will be out in the game as well, you know. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the opening lineup here and then we will get straight into the gameplay. So here is the starting lineup. Matt Beleski, Ryan Getzlaff, Corey Perry, Hempus Lindholm, Franza Bojanem. I cannot pronounce that name. And we have Matthew Perot together with Patrick Maroon and player of the game team Solani. Then we have Cam Fowler team of the week, Stefan Robida. Then we have Andrew Cogliano, the speedster, together with Saka Koivan, the super sweet Jacob Silverberg. And we have Brian Allen and Ben Lovejoy. And then we have Daniel Winnick, Nick Bonino and Kyle Palmieri on the bat for uh, third. Fourth line? There we go. Fourth line. And we have, well, this bench is quite amazing as well. We have Team of the Year, Frederick Anderson for example. And that's quite a good card. I can show you that. Well, I will show you that later in the episode, but let's get straight into the gameplay. First game of the episode in the series, and here we go against a Philadelphia Flyers fan. This is Division 10, so this would be quite a simple task for me actually because Corey Perry is going to score on his own rebound assisted by Ryan Getzlaff great pass by the captain oh captain Ryan Getzlaff and then we have a great hit here by Brian Allen and Patrick Maroon is basically going to sauce this up to Corey Perry he's basically going to have a easy breakaway and do a backhand for him that's kind of a that's kind of a cheap move to do I guess but we're only in division 10 and we don't only play scrubs yet yeah I'm a scrub but here's Patrick Maruna with the guest life and Perry he shoots but is it in? No it's not in because it didn't count the period ended. We're actually gonna watch this here again. I had to watch this to be sure that I wouldn't call EA bullshit but yeah. The green light was on before that and that was the end of the first period. Going into the second period I thought well I'm probably gonna score some more goals here real quickly but well I was wrong because this guy scored on the rebound here or something with Martin Straga the old New York Ranger nice to see that he could score again but yeah we're actually gonna skip ahead to the third period here this face off and well this win and this oh I used to love this so much the fake shot and a great pass over to Cam Fowler, who's just gonna shoot it, and what a tip in by Patrick Maroon. And that would be the ending result of the game, 3-1 to one in the opening game. I like it. Three stars, Corey Perry, Patrick Maroon, and John Gibson. Going back into the menu here, we have some changes in the lineup. Cam Fowler and Ben Lovejoy up on the first, second pairing. And then we have Stefan Robida and Hampus Lindholm as the second. And we have Brian Allen and Stefan Robida on the third. Uh, and also we have team... What a voice crack there. And also we have team of the year, Frederick Anderson, on the goalie spot. I believe we have John Gibson as the second goalie. But, well, let's get straight into the game here. We're actually going to score quite easily with Rickard Dortel. And, well, this guy was in his mic all game. And it was quite annoying. So I decided to send him a message. And the answer would be this. Screw you. Give me free pucks, please. Come on, kiddo. Show some manners and don't ask for EA pucks. But, well, Ryan Getzlaff would get hooked here on the break or, or tripped or whatever, but no penalty shots. Like, really, EA? But another goal would come here instead. The speedster would score. Actually, unassisted, but it should have been assisted by Jacob Silberg because that worked. Just pushing guy into his own net. So, Andrew Cogliano got the puck. That's, well, that's an assist in my book. And the kid decided to watch this replay. I don't know why, but he was probably enjoying the song that he was uh, listening to. And you guys are gonna hear the song real soon. And I actually score a goal when the song is basically dropping its beat. 
It's weird, that's fuck. And who would it be if it wasn't for my M words Patrick Maroon who scores his second of the series? I mean, this guy is actually really good in this game. Pick him up. And what would a game of hot be without a fight that I win? And this 12 year old, he called me things all game. Like this. He called me a hacker for winning a fight. Like, really? Like, if you only spam in fights, you're not gonna win the fight. That's a good rule. Or whatever, but, well, this guy would actually quit on me, which is even more funny. Um, so we won the second game with three to nothing. Nice. Game number three. I hope you guys enjoy this little montage of mine. Just enjoy it, okay? Thanks. And it goes harmlessly wide of the floor to goal. Glove down by Getzloff. Into the middle. Perry stops. Torrey Perry gets it right back. Back comes Devontae Smith. Kelly scores for Anaheim. Up the right board, it's a lot of space, he'll walk in front of the back end, he leaps it! Top shelf where your mother never does! Rumble 9-2. to I'm actually gonna show you guys this guys' goals as well. It's with one of my favorite players in the NHL, the grindy grinder, Joel Ward. He has over 20 goals this season, right? So, I mean, he's a great player. And next game here against Finn Story 1, a guy with the Washington Capitals logo. And, well, this game would actually be rather quick, which is unfortunate. Uh, I guess that he saw that I had Corey Perry and Ryan Getzlaff on my team, so he decided to quit on me, which is a shame. But hey, I got, well, we got, I should say, promoted up to Division 9. Hooray for us, and let's get some trophies. Game number 5 of the series, going into the Honda Center, and we're actually going to win this game. 
I'm I'm just gonna say this right now. We're actually gonna win this game. Incredible, right? No, not really. But well, the first period didn't end really well. Same with the second period because we couldn't score a goal. I mean, I just couldn't score. Like I was dominating the whole game, but uh, in the third things would actually happen, which I'm glad of. Matthew Perot is going to shoot, he's going to give the puck over to Devonta smith Pelly, who's going to pass it over to Perot and Winnick is just going to clap it from the slot with a one-timer. I love that type of goal. And yeah, that is a nice goal. And here's a... Uh, I believe we have a short-handed goal here again, but we're going to have a short-handed breakaway, kind of. Yeah, we are. Ryan gets left. I don't really know what the hell his demon were doing, but it works. 2 down nothing win for Anaheim again. And just going up in the division. We have four points out of four available points. I like it. Some minor fixes here in the lineup. As we see here, Cam Fowler is back with Stefan Robida on the first D pairing. And we're actually gonna see a new goal here, and it's Milestone John Gibson. This guy is not as good as Team of the Year Anderson, but he is uh, quite a goalie. He's quite a goalie. And let's get straight back into the gameplay right here, right now. Next game here facing a guy with really ugly jerseys, but Jacob Silberg has an open net, but he misses wide. How do you miss that, Jacob? I mean, come on. Well, the first period didn't really end well. No goals so far, but that would change here in the second period. Andrew Cogliano and Jacob Silverberg. Well, Silverberg would redeem himself. Short hand and break away for Jacob Silverberg. Score! Andrew Cogliano and Jacob Silverberg, they just work so well together on the penalty kill, but well, here's another penalty killing goal which is even more funnier because that's just a beauty move by Nick Bonina I was about to say but that's actually Daniel Winnick. Daniel Winnick when was the last time he scored one of well the more nicer goals you can see in this game like between the stick and the skate and oh dirty and it's 2 nothing after 2 Going into the third period here, he would just clap it in on Gibson. I don't really know what Gibson was doing, like having a nap or something? I don't know. But, uh, well, Captain, oh Captain, Ryan gets laugh. I like you so much in this game, you are just so good. And that is also how the game would end, 3-1 to one win again. I like it, I love it, this team is amazing. And another team change here again. This was before the Timo Solani game that ended his regular season uh, pretty much. It was before his last regular season game. So this is the lineup. We're missing Corey Perry, Ryan Gaslav, and Fuanja Bojanheim. Bojanheim. I cannot even pronounce his name and I'm not even gonna try. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into the gameplay. And the game started off with a rookie mistake by me. John Gibson is basically going to give Vladimir Tarasenko the goal. Go ahead and score on me. Well, this guy was actually good playing, so I can't really blame him for scoring there. A sucky player would probably have missed, but Patrick Maroon. This guy is just fucking insanely good in this game. He's so good. 1-1 uh, one, one after 2. I'm kind of rushing through this. I, I don't know why, but... I thought this would be a goal, like definitely, but this uh, at this point of the game, I was kind of no, he's probably gonna win now. So I rather just pause the game, take a time out, and watch the replay. But I'm not even gonna watch the replay of the goal. I'm actually gonna watch Stefan Robida, who's trying to poke check the puck, right? And the puck goes through his skates and also the blade of the stick, which is just fucking bullshit, if you ask me. The ref said no goal though, so I was happy again. But who wouldn't score if it wasn't for Patrick Maroon with a great tip? Once again, like this guy should be named a tip master or whatever because he's that good. But he would get it back with under a minute left with Vladimir Tarasenko. Oh, that hurts so bad. And with three seconds left, Nasim Kadri 
would score and man I was pissed here. I was so angry. I do not like Nazim Kadri in real life and I do not like him in this game either. His face, it it just looks so stupid whenever I look at him. And he had three guys around him as well. Like, I mean, if that would have been me, I, I would not have been able to fucking pull off a slap shot right there. Uh, that's just bullshit, but well, it happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comment section below, like the video, blah blah blah, and yeah, I'll see you later. Goodbye.